So Fajardo, honest question. Mm-hmm. Does Coach Gallant get fired? No. Off the New York Rangers. Explain Negative. why. Explain your reason. Reason being is he's taken a team that was mediocre at best when he first got here. Mm-hmm. Um, he's made some changes, um, and he's made this a uh, hundred point team two seasons in a row. Mm-hmm. Last last year we were able to go deep. Not not necessarily because we were the best team. Mm-hmm. It's just our grit was there. Mm-hmm. This year, we didn't go as far. We had a, a, a very, very uh, weak series against uh, the Devils. And not taking anything away from the Devils. Um, but we didn't show up. Especially for Game 7. We just, mm-hmm. didn't, we, we just weren't there. Um, you can't put that on the coach. Right? Um mm-hmm. So it's just one of those scenarios where, hey, it just didn't go your way this this season. Mm-hmm. There's not enough. That's not enough evidence to say, oh, Gallant is the reason why this team didn't make it to the next round. Mm-hmm. There's nothing supporting that. And on the same token, you have to understand that he has solidified this team to what it is. Mm-hmm. So. Right? Honest question here, though. Yeah. When Gallant didn't really make any adjustments, right? He they started out strong, two and zero. Doesn't really adjust himself after the Devils made their own adjustments. Do you think that kind of points out there might? I mean, I the players played poorly, right? I'm not going to excuse the players, right? Uh-huh. And Aaron was a ghost out there, but does that kind of signify that to me, or signal I should say that maybe he got out coached? I'm not going to say yes on that one. And the reason being is because they made adjustments. The problem is that they weren't executed. Mm. And that has nothing to do with the coach. That mm. is 100% on the players, mm. right? Because those same adjustments that he made for for game four, right? The, the players, it looks like they just didn't, didn't get it or just didn't go for it as much. Mm. Um, but game game six... It clicked for them mm. because he did make adjustments and they won very, very handsomely, right? Yeah. Which which made it made it seem like okay, game seven should be really good, really interesting, right? And at that point, it's not on the coach. Game sevens fare very smallly on the coach themselves. It's True. more on the player and what they're doing, mm. right? And 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 in, if you look at that game, mm. they just weren't. Like, they were either trying too much or just weren't committed. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that definitely plays a part in it. Um, as for Gallant being fired, I just don't see it happening. I think... Um, too much success. Th- th- too much success. Um, well, to be fair, though, Bruce Cassidy got fired from the Bruins, right? And then uh, then the Bruins took off and had that really good regular season. But, um, I mean, I don't think success is always the... I, 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 factor, I'm sorry. But, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> But I, I I love the intros for the Vegas Knights. These intros um, are just amazing. So, but I, I think when it kind of comes down to it is uh, I blame more the players than the coach. Uh, Panarin disappeared. I think Patrick Kane was getting a little bit too much criticism. He, he had six points in seven games. Is he prime Patrick Kane? No, but no. you got him understanding that. Uh, Tarasenko was okay. Um, Kreider was pretty solid in the beginning of the series. But I think a lot of your star players faded away. And defensively, that is the problem with the Rangers. And I hate to be like, oh, I told you so. But that was the biggest problem I had with the Rangers going into postseason. Defensively. So, so, so uh, uh, on that on that same coin, right? Mm-hmm. I think that the guys you needed to score got caught more on the defensive side. So, like, as a banerjee got caught um, defending more than he was able to contribute offensively. Right, which technically, that's why like the first line and second lines were more of like standstills, right? Uh, when it got down to like the third line, mm-hmm. fourth line, that's when when the the Devils kind of just took over the game. Mm-hmm. Um, the kid line just didn't show up. Uh, they didn't do anything. The only guy that was doing anything on that line was Kako. Um, yeah. He was noticeable, uh, but he's been that way all season. Um, he's the guy who, who I believe for that line to work is the key point. He is the engine that makes that kid line work, right? Okay. Because he's the guy who does all the work on the boards. He does like, he, he's the guy who 
makes like goes all out to find a way to make it happen. Yeah. Whereas so, uh, mm-hmm. Hito and Lafreniere, they just get like more of the more of the glamour of it, right? Like they end up getting the golds based off of his hard work or his finds. Right. Um, Hito has good face-offs. Mm-hmm. Um, he can create. He's an explosive center. Uh, his problem is that um, again, he. I just think that he's still trying to figure out his complete game. He scored a lot this season, which is great. Had a career high in goals, I believe, right? But he still needs to find that in the playoffs. I mean, but I think that's going to be a learning process for him. As for the as for the kid line, I think it's going to take more time. All of them are relatively young. Um, I would actually like to see them go into a more of a second line role next season, so you could see further growth in that, and he be relied upon instead of being a luxury. Exactly. Um, but I think we both agree. I don't think Gallant deserves to get fired. I don't think he'll get fired. But people that watch this segment, I'd be interested to know your thoughts down below. Do you believe Gallant should be fired by the Rangers? And if you do think that, who should replace him? I'm Captain Paul. That is Fajardo. And we're going to be signing off here. Thank you for everyone tuning into the live stream and tuning into this clip. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.